Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back, and welcome back to the sweet sound of my voice. I thought that since Ulta has announced their 21 Days of Beauty, we could do another window shop with me event, similar-ish to the one that I did right before the Sydney Grace Christmas in July sale, where I show you my wish list, we chit chat back and forth about it, and I get your guys' feedback, I hear what you all are planning on purchasing, and we all just have a really fun time. You guys seem to really like the Sydney Grace window shopping, and to be honest, I really enjoyed filming it. It was fun to talk through my dream purchases and show you all what I was thinking about getting, and not to mention, like, these videos are very easy to film. I am in my jammies right now. I am so comfy cozy and if you said Maggie you have to film in front of a camera I'd be like no. Like I'd have to blow dry my hair and that takes so long and it's nine and I'm so lazy. So anyways we're just gonna do this and I'm quite excited about it. If you aren't familiar, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I feel like they do this twice a year now, like there's one in the spring, one in the fall. That sounds about right. They have some deals that are really great and others that are just filler. Usually 50% off some popular items, some brands have a discount, some it's like a free gift, and lately what they have been doing is surprise deals. So you have to check in the day of, and I am so lazy and I don't want to. So unless they give me a hell of a teaser, probably not going to do that. But I did briefly scroll through just to kind of get an idea and there are some things that I am planning on picking up. So I will go through all that. If you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. And while we're at it, the biggest shout out to Nisi Pisa here on YouTube. She does an actual window shopping series. This is just mostly not as funny and not as... Um, non-consumerist, but I feel like her window shopping series really gave me permission to do a video like this because it was clear that people enjoyed it and there was an audience for it and I love that. So with that being said, let's dive on in to the day that I'm most excited about this Sunday, August 28th. There are honestly like some good deals like the MAC lipsticks. I feel like those are always half off, never pay full price for MAC and Tarte's got some stuff, Philosophy, L'Occitane, which has great reviews, as you can see, but philosophy. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so excited for this. Fresh cream is my spring scent, and I, I can't wait to pay half price for this. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, because like, this is two ounces. Two ounces, $23? Are you kidding me? I, I can't wait. I can't wait. It smells like sweet vanilla. So I like to pair that with a citrusy scent. So I'll do like one spritz of this and then one spritz of the citrusy scent. And it is like so perfect for spring and summer. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited because I'm running low on this. So could not have happened at a better time. I am legitimately so excited for August. And it's online only. So um, I may have to pick up some other stuff. I'll try not to, but I am who I am. See, this is what I mean. Like what, could you at least give me a hint? Oh wait, they did. I wasn't reading. Benefit, It Cosmetics, and Kiehl's. <sighs> the three most boring brands. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Clinique Quick Liner is nice. I used to have the shade, I think it was Egypt. This green that was really pretty. Maybe I'll pick that up. I actually don't have an olive liner at the moment. Maybe I'll grab something. I wish the First Aid Beauty scrub was on sale, but no, we can't have nice things. This day looks so boring. Oh, the under eye brightening corrector. See, here's the thing. I bought this like back when Becca was still a brand, like when we were all confident in its financial abilities. And I still have so much of it. I need like a suggestion of a tap and I'm good. Well, I do not need this as nice as it would be to get a discount. It would sit in my backup drawer for like a year and a half. At that point, there are already like three other 21 Days of Beauty sales, so how pointless is that? Oh, the highlighters though. Do I want a Becca highlighter? Let's see. There's Moonstone is the one that would, that would be my shade, right? 
or opal? I don't know. Why don't you leave, leave a comment? Has the love kind of died for the Becca highlighters? I'm curious. Lashes. I don't wear lashes. My lashes are naturally amazing. Okay. Some skincare stuff that I just... Oh, I don't care. Um, Buxom. It'll probably be 50% off their lip glosses. Let's be real. Okay, let's see. KVD. Is it 50% off the Dazzle Sticks? Because if not, you can go to hell. Uh, who else? Glam Glow. They're still... They're still in business. Good for them. $30 is like the most this product should be. Okay, the NARS Afterglow. That looks really nice because I have kind of been into like a gentle glowing lip balm lately. That's 50% off. That's pretty. Ooh, look at Turbo, you guys. That's lovely. Have any of you tried this? What would you say? What else? Um, more brands that I don't care about. Let's see. Oh, the pure makeup sponge is, oh, that's nice. That's, again, I, I think you shouldn't charge more than $10, but you know what I'll say about Beauty Blender? I appreciate that it has always been $20 ever since it came out. Inflation hasn't gotten to it yet, so you know what? Good for it. Then we have kind of the standards, like Urban Decay. I feel like that's with every 21 Days of Beauty. Oh, that looks nice. If I didn't have my perfect little lip sleeping mask already, I'd consider the COSRX one. I wish the entire COSRX brand would go on sale, though. I want to try some stuff from them. Clean Beauty? I have opinions on this. People will say what they say, but, like, I think Clean Beauty is kind of a scam. Oh, is this the Dermalogica thing that I use? It's, oh, no, this is a super foliant. I just use the regular white daily exfoliant. This looks way more intense. What is this? Let me adjust the screen a little bit for you all. That won't make filming look inconsistent. How is this different from the other micro exfoliant? Do I care? Not really. Okay, moving on. Oh, Morphe. Oh my god, I can't wait to shop 50% off a Morphe product. Oh my... Spare me. Oh, more brands that I just don't care about. Oh, wait. It brushes for Ulta. I've heard good things about these. Do I need... Oh, it's just the set. I don't want a whole set. I want to pick my own brushes, damn it. More Urban Decay nonsense. They're kind of like the go-to Ulta half-off brand, aren't they? I've heard good things about the Persona bronzer, but there's just other things that I want to try from Persona, so we'll wait. Um, cruelty-free products. I think a lot of brands at Ulta are cruelty-free, so that's going to be, that's going to cover quite a few. Ooh, a cleansing oil, you guys. I, I think you guys know I'm on a bit of a cleansing oil craze yet again, because both Elf and It Appears to Be ColourPop got rid of my dearly beloved cleansing oils. So now I have to go back and try again. The one by Hand Skin that I got during the other Ulta sale, that one's pretty nice. I quite like that, but I could be persuaded to try more. Cleansing gel. Actually, no, gels don't seem to work for me. Every time I try a cleansing gel, it feels like my eyeballs are set aflame, and I don't know what's up with that. Ooh, do I want this? I've been watching too many skincare videos, but I think I want a really nice facial roller. Because I am just so swollen and puffy in the morning. I mean, aren't we all? Maybe this is what I need. That could be nice. What's the brand called? Sashu? I have not heard of them. You all have to tell me if it's worth the hype or not. 50% off MAC blushes. Now we're talking. Can I tell you guys, I once had the most beautiful MAC mineralized blush, but I got rid of it because I thought it was breaking me out, but now I think it's something else. What color did I get? Is that dainty? I think it was dainty. And you guys, it was just the cutest little cool-toned bright pink. I'm almost positive it's this one. And I kind of want to be reunited. That red is also pretty. What shade is that? Oh, it doesn't even say. Well, by all means, don't tell me. How am I supposed to figure that out? These... 
<laughs> These are not helpful. It's not in stock right now, but it might be. And I might have to renew my love. Oh, the Claire's toner. See, if I didn't have so many toners, I would consider picking this up. But I have one that I just opened. I have one that I got as a gift with purchase. Okay, we're, we're cruising through, aren't we? I'm just not seeing anything exciting. Surprise there's not more eyeshadow here, but that's just because I love eyeshadow. Okay, I got excited seeing Clinique and then mascara because I thought the bottom lash mascara was going to be half off, but it's not. Of course. That'd be too convenient. <laughs> Seriously, there are like three mascaras and none of them are the Clinique bottom lash. All right, and then the last day, something from Yves Saint Laurent. I didn't know. Do they sell the makeup or the perfume here? I thought it was just the perfume. Hmm. And then I don't see anything about like the brand sale because normally we'll have drugstore brands that are like 30% off or buy two get the third free something like that I'm not seeing that here maybe it'll be added probably the second I upload this but yeah to recap definitely getting the philosophy perfume I'm stupid excited about that uh, maybe a Becca highlighter maybe potentially NARS Afterglow Lip Balm. There was a Clinique Quick Liner one of these days, right here, perhaps. Because I remember the the olive one I had, I thought was real nice. I was looking at a clen- there we go. A cleanser, a Bosha cleanser at one point. A facial roller, because I'm fancy now. I like to take care of myself. And yeah, that's it. I, I can't tell if I'm just having better shopping habits or if Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty just ain't what it used to be. What do you guys think about this? I do think that there are some good deals interspersed, but a lot of it is just so-so. Also, friendly reminder, I'm pretty sure Sephora will match any of the deals, so if you can't find it here, if it's out of stock, consider going to your local Sephora and see if they'll uh, match it for you. Just a little insider tip from me to you. Kind of a more boring shop with me because I'm only definitely getting one thing and maybe thinking about a few others, but that doesn't mean that you can't participate. So if you would like to tell me what you are or are not picking up in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, leave a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!